Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays, I'm exploring the Cessna 172 which is equipped with Garmin G1000 and in this regard, I'm making a series of videos which are there available on my channel. There is also a complete tutorial available uh, which includes uh, the flight planning part plus how to start this plane and then flying this plane on autopilot and ILS approach and landing. So if you're not really familiar with these procedures, I would recommend you to just go and watch those videos. Uh, this video is actually uh, for the two modes that I basically use by autopilot to climb or to descend or uh, rather you can say um, uh, to basically determine the vertical movement or the vertical path of this plane. These two modes are vertical speed and FLC uh, flight level change. If you just look at your screens over here, you will see vertical speed and FLC. Now let's turn on the flight director and uh, let's try to take this plane up in the air <laughs> and uh, uh, let's uh, uh, climb up to 10,000 feet but it will be step climbs I will I will just um, climb up in the increments of 2000 feet just to show you these two modes and their behavior. So right now you can see the elevation is 1740 so I will just go up to 3700 or rather I can keep that 3000 feet. So now during the takeoff I will give full throttle and uh, initially I will uh, keep uh, this angle the pitch or the attitude of the plane at 5 degrees and once the plane is above 55 knots and I have, you know, I'm off the runway, then I can, you know, retract the flaps and then I can increase the speed. Um, my speed during the climb will be 75 knots. So I will just try to keep it 75 knots and then I will tell you how you manage your speed with the FLC and the vertical speed. So let's release the parking brakes. Let's give a full throttle and take this plane up in the air. So just pull back on the yoke a bit, keep it at 5 degrees. Now you're off the runway. And you have a good climb. And you know, now you can see the speed is increasing. So during the takeoff, what you do is this. If you want to control the speed, you don't use the throttle to change the speed. You basically change your vertical path. So if the speed is increasing, you go up. If the speed is uh, decreasing, you go down. So that's how you control it. Right now you can see with this power given by the engine, the plane is stable almost at 84 knots, as you can see it over here on your screens. So if I further climb up, you will see the speed will decrease. And if I go down, you will see the speed will increase. So that's how you control your speed during the climb and during the descent. Okay. So now what I'll do is this, that instead of going at 75, let's keep it at 80 to be on the safe side. As you can see, lower limit is coming. This white line is over here. So 75 will be over here. So it's not advisable. So I'll try to keep it at 80. So now what I'll do is this, I will activate the autopilot. And now you can see roll is coming. So I will just take it out from the roll mode and uh, take it in the nav mode. It will not start to follow the flight path. And with this, I will press vertical speed. Now the vertical speed that I have currently set is 100 feet per minute, going up by 100 feet per minute, but you can see the speed is increasing. So I can just like go up, increase this vertical speed. Let's say if I keep it at 1000, now you will see the speed will start to reduce. So I will adjust the vertical speed in such a way that uh, the speed remains at 80 knots. It's decreasing, so with this I can decrease the vertical speed now you can see it's stable at 90. So if I further go up, it will decrease more. So that's how you control your speed during the takeoff. And you adjust your vertical speed. Let's go up a bit. Just make little adjustments wherever you are comfortable. Just stop it. And now it's at 80. So. Let's go down. So now you can see, you know, just like one knot here and there, it makes a difference. And plus, as um, you're going up, 
in the altitude you know the air is getting thin so that's why the speed will also be impacted so this is one thing you also have to consider now you can see the plane is about to level off at 3700 now what i'll do is this i will climb up to 5000 i will just move this and now you can see as the plane has leveled off so the speed is now increasing now i will climb up to 5000 so instead of now um uh, or rather what i'll do is this i will keep the vertical speed and go up now you can see this low limit is coming getting five knots so don't don't go below this then there are chances the plane will stall so i will try to keep it at 85 so this is a good indicator so i'll keep it at 85 so now before you have seen this that you know once i was climbing using the vertical speed i have to you know make adjustments so with this what you can do is this that once you have your desired speed you can see <laughs> it gets difficult now what i'll do is this i'm climbing at a very high rate and once i see 85 over here i will just press flc and now you will see what happened now you can look at the flight mode in theater and it says flc 85 knots so now what the autopilot is doing is this that during the climb rate instead of giving priority to the climb rate it is giving priority to the speed now i have locked the speed at 85 knots for the autopilot and now you can see the vertical speed will keep on changing so you really don't have to make changes yourself so it's a, now a constant climb at 85 knots and the plane will keep on changing its vertical speed but what will happen is this that you know as soon as the plane uh, goes you know above 5000 feet uh, the air gets thinner your vertical speed might be uh, compromised you can see now it's leveling off that's why it's coming like this now what i'll do is this i will straight away go up to 10000 so instead of leveling off at 5000 i'll climb up to 10000 so what these two modes do is this the difference in these two modes is this that if you're activating vertical speed it is giving priority to the climb rate or to the descent rate and if you are activating flight level change it is giving priority to the speed and obviously during the descent and during the takeoff your priority should be speed uh, you should be uh, climbing up at a constant speed at a good speed so let's say if i give priority to the vertical speed and let's say if i just take it out from the uh, for flc mode and if I just keep on climbing up at a very aggressive rate, I just want to climb up to 10,000, you will see my speed will drop. And there will be a point where the plane will stall. And that's what you don't want to do. You can see, you know. It's 1,700. And the speed is dropping. So this is going to be dangerous. So let's uh, click flight level change. Now the plane will stabilize at 80 knots. Wherever I click this FLC, it will be there. And let's say if I further go down and take it up to, let's say, 85. Now you will see 84, 85. Flight level change, 85. Now the, the plane will climb by keeping the speed constant. So that's how you manage the vertical speed and uh, the flight level change. If you are familiar uh, with the cockpits of uh, Boeing, you will also see this button level change. So this level change button is a magic button and um, it, it, it comes really handy. <laughs> now there is another thing. Uh, let's uh, reduce the altitude. Let's say I will just, uh, sorry, I will keep it at 6,000 let's say 300 and the plane will level off at 6300 now during the descent let's say i want to descend at the speed of 70 knots so i want to go down to now let's wait for the plane to level off as you can see over here on the flight mode enunciator it's coming 6300 stable at 6300 now i just want to go down to 2000 feet but now i cannot just simply climb uh, descend at this high speed what i'll do is this i will reduce the throttle so during the descent that's how you manage it 
so i will keep on reducing the throttle till the time speed drops because remember this thing that if you have full throttle and you try to descend then obviously the plane will go at a very high speed so let's uh, take it under control let's bring it to 80 knots this is another thing that you can do and as soon as i see 80 i will just hit flc FLC. Now you can see FLC, the speed is locked at 80 knots and the plane has started its descent. Now again, uh, the descent um, angle or the attitude will be, uh, the, um, will be as per the speed. So the plane will keep on adjusting the vertical speed and it, it will keep on uh, descending. Remember this thing, at high speeds, your vertical speed reduces. If you have a very long distance to cover, then you can just descend at a slow, um, at a at a higher speed with low uh, descent rate. But if you want to descend at a good rate, then what you can do is this: you can further reduce the speed. I'm just moving the throttle. I'm just you can see. And you can see the vertical speed is increasing. And now the vertical speed will increase a lot. So the speed will remain at 80 knots, but if the vertical speed is getting higher because the plane is pitching down, the attitude is down. So that's why you can manage. So if you want to have a higher uh, descent rate, so instead of using vertical speed in order to you know, go down a lot, just reduce the throttle. What if I keep it in idle? Now the throttle is totally idle. And now you can see we have a very high descent rate. But as soon as I'll give the throttle, let's say if I give full throttle, you can see the vertical speed is now getting adjusted. Oops, that was too much. <laughs> Now, once the plane is stable, now it will start to go down. It should go down. It's done. Yeah. So you have to reduce the throttle. <laughs> so this is one trick I just taught you right now. So remember during the descent, just uh, reduce the throttle and uh, just descend at a lower speed. Now again, the plane will actually first of all attain the speed because this is the priority right now and then it will start to descend. So uh, that's it. You can pra practice it at your own uh, during different flights. But uh, before I end this video, I just would like to tell you one thing that if you are flying in the vertical sp uh, speed mode, then the priority is given to the vertical path, either pitching up or pitching down. So the plane will actually try to manage that attitude and it will disregard uh, the speed but in flight level change uh, speed is the priority and the vertical speed is disregarded so it keeps on adjusting in such a way that your speed remains constant whatever you have said if you've got any questions regarding this video you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video and uh, the comment section is there for you thank you very much for staying with me have a nice day hope to see you soon <music>